Sean, look up on my left Sean. So like I don't care what people say. We both know I couldn't change you. I guess you could say the same. The difference in me, I have no, no, coins.
I was thinking about this scripture that declares no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. But oftentimes in life, we focus on the fact that it's forming. But the father says, switch your attention to me. He says, because I have never lost a case. I have never lost a battle. He says, and because I'm with you, I'm fighting on your behalf. Don't you focus on the weapon. He says, because it won't work. Don't you focus on the enemy tactics. He says, because it won't stand a chance. He says, because I've already covered you. He says, and because you are attached to me, I'll fight for you. Rainy day in Pawtucket. Guys, when it rains, <laughs> it rains. It's been like this for like four, five hours since in Pawtucket and it's been raining non-stop. But eventually I have to step out and go to work. I can't continue being at home. I have got stuff to do today. So let's go, guys. Let's go to work. Month four in Patakot. <laughs> guys <laughs> i know i look a mess it's saturday i've been like it's currently 12 o'clock and i'm still yet to like start my day or do anything really meaningful with my day today is the day of the election local government election so there's like a coffee right now in river state this is month four in river state i didn't know i was staying this long shot, but it is what it is and frankly speaking if i'm being honest i'm not complaining like that i would like to like maybe have maybe in between maybe come back change my wardrobe a bit and maybe probably known from the beginning of my trip that i'll be staying this long but in all it's been like a really nice one got to connect with my family and all which is nice and then spend like a really long time here because this is the longest i've ever stayed in Port Harcourt in the past three years which is like a new dif a different thing for me considering that i moved to abuja at 21 so to have to do this now is i mean no i didn't move to abuja at 21 no. I moved to Abuja at 20, 22, I think 22, because I was 22, then I turned 23 the same year, so. Yeah, so it's been, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a good time, actually, I wouldn't even lie. Today is going to be a really, really lazy and slow day for me. I'm just going to lounge in my PJs, even after I shower, and just rest really because not a lot of times you get a day of rest particularly in your parents house and because it's a curfew there are no like much errands or whatever to do so you just chill so my hair i haven't made my hair in like forever i don't even know what to do with my hair anymore some days i get the urge to like cut it off i don't even know if i'm the only one who feels that way but i feel the urge to cut it off but then i'm like my hair is so long if i cut it off what am i going to do like once i miss like the length it took me 10 years to grow the length that it is i think it's about here if i pour it out so like like a 14 inch hair so i feel somehow to just like chop it off but sometimes i get that feeling because like now i don't know what to do with it so most times i just retouch straighten it out and then pack it for like a whole month <laughs> Because I think the excitement of like making your hair is all done. Yeah. <laughs> 16 years old me in secondary school would never have believed that there would be any points where I would get tired of making my hair because I was on low cut then and I couldn't wait to grow my hair out. And now I'm tired. 
life <laughs> life nice to talk to you guys and i'll try as much as possible in my vlogs to talk more rather than just showing so i realize that that might be a bit boring for you guys <laughs> i wanted to take this off for a while now i've been getting the feeling that i should take it off because i feel like um it's time for like a new identity shift or like a new signature piece of jewelry but for some reason, I've not been able to just take it off. I got this from my best friend when she was leaving Abuja and moving to Lagos. See, that's one left like <laughs> color difference on my leg because of the sun. But yeah, I want to take this off. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like I should. Like, I don't know. Because most times when I wear shoes, um, it doesn't really fit all my shoes. It does fit some of them and then some it doesn't fit. But then I've never taken it off since the day I first put it on. Like, and it's been like two years permanently on my leg. And so somehow without it on my leg, my legs just feel empty. <laughs>